Uh, hey, Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications at the NAB Show 2018 here with Klaus from Ambient. Hello, welcome. Uh, thank you very much for having us. You just announced a new product. What do you got? We actually did last okay. week, yes. Yeah. Short through the show. Um, this time we bring something completely new. Um, we bring the Power Locket. Uh -huh. Power Locket is, it carries the name Locket, so apparently it's a time code okay. and tri level sync box. But for the first time, it's um, really a camera accessory uh, piece of gear. Actually, Locket is a camera accessory, but it's never been percepted as such by camera crew because it's brought to the camera, usually um, by the audio department, on shooting day one, um, which at the same time, it's an additional box. It comes in late to the set, which uh, makes it very unattractive um, to the camera people, uh, understandingly. So we thought, what can we do to, to change that? And uh, the answer was to bring it closer to the camera and integrate it with stuff that actually are useful on, to have on a camera or already present on a camera. So the um, camera department is familiar with to have which is a power distribution plate. So what the power locket does, it combines a master locket plus with a power plate, with a power distribution system. So it makes absolute sense to have on camera. It's got the same factor as the typical power distribution boxes you know from various vendors and manufacturers. So yeah, show us what that, what that looks like in real life. So this is actually what the camera department would be very familiar with. It has all the power outlets uh, that they know that a camera related it has a d-tap it has a row of two pin limos connectors that ca carry unregulated battery power and it has an rs connector to carry regulated 24 volts um, to feed th that kind of equipment and of course it has time code and our metadata interface to derive metadata from lenses like the cook slash i that we introduced last year on nab of course also cameras and what's new on this show or it's to come soon with one of the next firmware releases from ARI, which is why we have the Alexa Mini here, is we're now compatible, or ARI is compatible with their system, with our metadata interface, so we can read CAP2 uh, protocol and derive metadata from the Alexa Mini and feed onto uh, other applications and, and programs like our Locket script. So the idea behind this is, we look on the, uh, on this, this is an Alexa Mini, um, You've got your rack rails, which everybody has, and then the power locket mounts yes, on the exactly. rack rails. It would mount like, again, like any other power plate, and we uh, provided many, many hard points, so there are limitless options uh, for the cameraman to attach this thing to his camera. So we take, we are compatible with uh, the Arri Bat One, uh, for instance. We are compatible. What you see here is a wooden cam. Uh, piece of gear, we can mount that on the bottom, we can mount that on the top, so if one goes with the uh, top mounted rod system, mm -hmm. is covered as well. There he, he, th this is still pre-production, so here will be various mount points to attach it directly to the camera, we will have a direct V-lock adapter plate. So. And this, and then you also have uh, a battery adapter plate so you can plug yes, the battery. exactly, so batteries we cover V-mount and, and gold mount and some Bauer batteries, which are the most popular ones. Mm -hmm. In Europe, it's more or less uh, V-mounts. I understand in, in, in the US, it's, it's, they, they prefer the Anton Bauer batteries, so we cover both. It's not fixed to a certain camera. This is exchangeable. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we provide camera looms for different cameras, and there are several clever things about it. So, you can replace that. So once you have this, it's a safe investment, whatever camera you go with. So you, you can have this on an Arri, you can have this on a RET, you can have this on a Sony, mm -hmm. what have you. When you change that thing, what the power lock it has, it has a tri-level gen log output because it's a camera piece right. of gear. So it makes absolute sense, not only to have time code, but also gen log. There's one catch with gen log. Well, every camera has a different requirement and hardly anybody knows exactly which camera really needs which signal. So we went the whole mile, investigated all cameras, went through all the manuals and found out what the requirements are. And as soon as you attach a certain loom suitable for the respective camera, the adjustments in here will be automatically. So you put on a, a red camera loom, 
it will adjust the genlock to be 1080p, which is the signal that the RAD camera uh, requires. If you put on the Sony loom, it will uh, switch over to 1080i, which is what the Sony requires. At the same time, we made some uh, changes to our software, so we introduced the, the auto frame settings with the nano locket, and we take this one step further with the power locket by moving on to project frame rates, which, which is a term that the camera uh, department is familiar with. So you can actually set a, a project frame rate of 50, and it will spit out 25 time code and a 50 sync signal. So again, like with the nano locket, you don't require any app or uh, complex menu structure. It will do all that's required in the background automatically. And you can still uh, control this via Wi-Fi? Yes, of course. It's, it's got a, a full-fledged master locket plus bu uh, built inside, so it has the Wi-Fi uh, access with the web GUI. Yeah. You can make manual adjustments to the project frame rate, to the sync output. It's just you don't have to if you see it as your ordinary piece of gear. And the time code, what's good about it, the time code part comes alive as soon as it sees battery or studio power that we take. Mm -hmm. um, so it is ready for operation, ready for sync as soon as it sees power. Mm -hmm. Then there is a backup battery that keeps it alive for three days. Wow. So basically, you got this on your camera, you never be without the correct time. Right. So that's the whole idea about it. So you can turn it off for the weekend, go home, come back, and it's still yes, going to be so. running the same time code it was before. And also, since we have the seamless switch over from the studio power, from the external power and the uh, battery, it allows the camera to run perpetually, actually. So you just plug in your, your carry-on battery, and then you, you just swap the, the, the back battery, and keep on going. Mm -hmm. So uh, the thing is with the looms, uh -huh. they, um, to make it more visual and, and, and understandable, we have different colors. The Sony will be green, Ari will be blue, um, red will be red. Uh -huh. <laughs> so actually we follow the same color code like we do with our new Pro Packs for the Nano Locket, uh -huh. okay. so, which we have uh, recently released. So we pre-configured them with cables that are required for typical camera setup so the customer doesn't need to go and then buy separate cables. So blue again it carries everything that you would need to uh, attach a nano locket on a Alexa Mini. Red is for red cameras and green is for Sony's and then universal Canon cameras. And, so, and this will be expandable going forward if there's a new camera standard that comes out. You'll yes, absolutely. So we carry all, we have a multiple pin connector here so we are prepared for whatever the camera manufacturers come uh, up with and we can configure the cables as, as we want, different length, everything possible. Awesome. Klaus, thank you very much. Thank you, Nick.